What does an Amarillo smash beer taste like that's almost five months old? Let's find out. Welcome back everybody. So today we are going to have the last tasting of the Amarillo smash beer. Now this was the first smash beer in our uh, small batch brewing uh, series. So this was brewed on January 17th, 2019. It was bottled on 2 4 19 and this is almost july so almost five months old closer to five months really close to five months actually five days from five months old uh this did use the roar two row malt uh two pounds 12 ounces uh this was a 1.25 gallon batch going into the carboy 0.39 ounces of Amarillo hops at 30 minutes, 0.29 at 5 minutes, then 0.32 uh, three days in uh, to fermentation for the dry hop. Uh, for the alpha acids on the hops were 10.3%. Uh, Pre-boil gravity was 1063. Beersmith wanted 1058. Uh, target for original uh i i'm showing beersmith wanted 1058 i hit 1063 uh i must yeah that i put that up there instead so that's not right the pre or post post boil gravity is right i i'm not sure why it's like that i thought the top one was always uh the pre boil gravity maybe beersmith changed something because, yeah, they have the, the original gravity and a post-boil gravity, which are pretty much the same thing, on here twice. So maybe they did, did change something. Up here, they do have the pre-boil gravity. So I must not be looking in the right place. I did not put what the pre-boil gravity was. Um, beer ended up at 7.5%, just like we have on the label, uh, at bottling, it was down to 6.75 bricks, but because I do use a refractometer, I did have to convert that, uh, because refractometers aren't going to do the alcohol, so you have to convert them, unlike a, uh, a standard unit. Um, and that is about it. So let's go ahead and get into this. It is carbonated. It's been in the fridge for two days. Now, I did get a little bit of hiss on there. I did not go back and look to see what the notes are uh, that we've had from the tastings of this so far. Because I kind of want to just pull it out there. Then what I'll do is go back and watch uh, the videos just to see how it's... Um, either progressing or falling off. My uh, thinking on this is it should start falling off. Uh, there's not a lot of malt in there, even though it is a one gallon and uh, with only an ounce of hops, my guess is that hop from that, or the, the malt from that two row is gonna really start taking over. Let's go ahead and check the color. Very, tannish almost like a tea in color uh i do have some chill haze lots of bubbles coming up i can make out the light box but i can't see through it but yeah i would almost say like a golden tea color which is kind of scary uh head has died down it's gone sweet malt is about all i'm getting from that grain uh, with a 7.5% beer, I would have thought that that malt, that sweet malt smell would have been actually a little bit lower, but you are still going to have that profile of that grain in there, so that's going to come out, but I didn't think I would get the sweet part as much. <sighs> Very faint on that sweet malt, nothing big, it smells like an older beer. Let's go ahead and taste. Uh, 
almost like a syrup sweet malt in there more syrupy maybe a touch of breadiness in there then on the back end you do get some bitterness yeah that that sweet malt is really starting to stick out but you still get some of that bitterness from the ibus in back i mean we're talking about a 10.3 alpha acid hop so i would think that's how it's going to go your 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 flavor profile either it be tropical or citrus or whatever it is are probably going to fade out first uh leaving some of those that bitterness behind and the malt's going to take over not bad but you can really tell that those that profile of that amarillo hop has really went down and that two row has taken over if you take that back end bitterness off it's almost drinking like a a syrup a watery syrup drink like if you just filled a glass up with water about halfway and put a whole bunch of syrup in there and maybe added some lightly toasted bread crust that's pretty much what this is but you do get that back end of that bitterness yeah aftertaste you're getting some of that bitterness but it's mainly like a very lightly roasted bread syrup crust is what i'm getting carbonation is fine in this uh i think that held up uh just fine so the carbonation tablets are working uh i did not check and i don't remember if this was a sealed cap like a brand new cap where the bottom ring is with the top cap or if this was one no this would have been brand new because this is the first one so that was a sealed cap so it is keeping everything in there and carbonating the beer so that's good but yeah this is definitely not one you would want to sit five months my guess is three months is probably the max especially on a small batch like this but if you are brewing a small batch and you're not doing them like we are my guess is you're going to drink them quickly maybe within 30 days so you shouldn't have to worry about that but yeah i think this was an interesting experience if you have not go back and watch the brew day then tasting one tasting two then this tasting to see how they've or how this smash beer has done over time also if you go to 31stbrewing.com i do have a small batch uh, page that has all these on there and I have been trying to um, update them every time I do taste one of these so you can go through there and watch the video for one or read what I put the tasting notes are but yeah this one that malt or that two row raw or two row has taken over and it's more syrup so unless you're really into almost a dessert beer and like that sweetness like drinking a syrup um i would say drink them young don't let them age so if you like this review thumbs up if you don't thumbs down make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you know when new videos are coming out and until next time happy brewing <laughs>